my god, this costs how much? affordable skincare? No, no, no. I, I still gotta go buy that. Hi, I'm Brenda and welcome back to Daily Dose Up. I have a new microphone today that I had my roommate kind of help rent for me. Let me know if the sound quality is actually different. If not, I will just continue as it's always been. Today I'm going to share with you four affordable skincare brands because I feel like lately I've been sharing a lot of semi up there brands like Kiehl's or SK2 and it might not be the most affordable for everybody so I thought I would scramble together four brands that are tried and true for me at least and uh, the recommended products that kind of go with each brand. First up, we have CeraVe. This is a drugstore brand that can be found in Walgreens, Walmart, Target, uh, any of those kind of drugstore and like department store type S levels. So CeraVe is great for sensitive skin. It's fragrance free, it's dermatologist recommended. Usually when I go to the dermatologist, they have little samples of either CeraVe lotion or face wash. My favorite one from this brand is the moisturizing lotion. It's kind of a gel formula and I can actually compare it to the Clinique Moisture Surge lotion. If you like that, you'll probably like this one as well, and this is half the price for like double the volume. The second brand is something that I've been mentioning in a lot of my videos lately, and it's called The Ordinary. They have a standalone store, or they're sold online at Sephora. Everything that you could possibly get from there is pretty much $10 and under, and they have been known to do more of like a real direct ingredient solution. So basically, I have their hyaluronic acid, and this is something that's in a lot of different moisturizers, but you just put one or two drops either mixed with your lotion or I put it pre-lotion. They also have something that I really like which is their lactic acid formula and this is something that Sunday Riley also makes. It's called their Good Jeans formula but Sunday Riley's formula is $105 and the ordinary one I think is five to seven dollars and it literally does the same thing. It's the same formula, it's the same ingredients. So like at the end of the day it literally does the same thing for a fraction of the price. So definitely give the ordinary a shot. Plus their packaging is super simple. I love really, really simple packaging because it just kind of gives that minimalist feel and I feel like that's been a big thing lately on the whole packaging market. They break down all their ingredients on their website. So if you just go to theordinary.com, you can kind of look through which each of their formulas and ingredients does for your skin and see which one that uh, works best for you. Third up is a Korean skincare brand and it's called Skin Food. They are sold in Ulta here. I don't know if they have a standalone store. I think they had a pop-up in New York once. And my favorite products from Skin Food is their face scrub. In particular, the Black Sugar Mask Scrub, which is basically kind of an exfoliating mask that you kind of wet your skin, rub it on, and you keep it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't really dry because it's just a sugar scrub, but it really helps exfoliate my skin as well as the fact that it smells like sugar and it's I want to eat it. It tastes probably not good. I don't try to eat it, but it smells really, really delicious. And you put it on your skin, it's very gentle, and skin food is actually known for quite being more natural side and good for gentle skin. And the sugar mask also includes shea butter, which kind of helps hydrates your skin after you do a sugar scrub, so it's a really good balance between the two and it doesn't dry out your skin. Last but not least is a brand called Mario Badescu. This could be found in some Sephora's, Ulta, and I found it in Urban Outfitters as well. So the first product that I've ever tried from them is their drying lotion, and this is a sulfur salicylic acid treatment, and it basically has this pink residue powder that sits at the bottom of like a some kind of liquid and you take a cotton swab you dip it in and you put it onto pimples for overnight treatment and it literally looks like pink dots on your face so if you use this at night you probably don't want to go out in the day during it plus it'll just make your skin sensitive to the sun but you cover your pimples completely at night make sure it's a spot treatment it is definitely not an all over the face treatment and I found this to be the most effective $17 acne treatment because usually the next day my pimples have already dried up and they're really good to go it has a very strong scent to it, so definitely be careful. I think it's the sulfur within it, um, but you're only using very tiny quantities anyway, so it shouldn't really be super like 
abrasive for your nose. Something else from Maya Badescu that I recently picked up is their rose water spray. Remember a while ago I recommended you guys the rose water face toner from the brand called Fresh and that one's way more expensive than the Maya Badescu one. This is kind of similar in the sense where it's like a water rose water toner and it's supposed to help like have anti-inflammatory powers to help with redness and overall just kind of calm your skin and you use it after your cleanser as a spray on toner and you don't have to wipe it off or anything afterwards. You're actually supposed to leave it on but this one is a much cheaper version and I love the smell of it. Also very gentle, very floral and again Mara Badescu is one of those brands where I just love the packaging. I know that doesn't really make a huge difference with the products but for me I like my packaging to be nice and simple and aesthetically appealing. That said this formula is also good which is what you should be focusing on. Alright so that was four affordable skincare brands that you can find at any local drugstores or Ulta or Urban Outfitters and I hope you guys try some of these out. If you have more brands to recommend leave them down below because I'm always trying to live my life on a budget and buy some cheap things that's also good for my skin and not too crazy in the chemical department so a little bit natural a little bit gentle if you got any of those recommendations leave them down below this Sunday's Earth Day I'm gonna have a video out for that I'm about to start working really really hard on it so hopefully on Sunday you and me like the video and uh, go check it out other than that I will see you Sunday for the Earth Day episode and then next Wednesday for another Daily Dose Up episode. Bye bye bye!